it's ridiculous. Okay, um, so it's Edge of Darkness okay. in two okay. weeks. The obviously the finale of Space Colon uh, next week. Um, David Cameron's let his hair grow. He's all fluffy yeah, like a teddy hippie. bear. He's like a that teddy hippie. bear. He's gone all fluffy. Dirty, um, dirty hippie. We open up. This is episode one of hippie. series four. Uh, we we mm-hmm. open up. Um, he's in prison. He's in a KGB prison. He's been caught. And Does he they, have KGB prison tattoos? No. I'm assuming not. Um, and they've been using a lot of drugs on him to break him. So far, he hasn't broken, but they reckon the next session will do it, and it'll just leave him completely insane. Has he enjoyed the drugs? So, um, in the meantime, the Brits have decided to write him off, so they have a funeral for him. Lonely finds out, and simply cannot believe it, especially with what the vicar at the church said about him praising him to the highest hilt and lonely going that's not Mr. Callan um, that's BS right? yeah and so Hunter has to set Cross on, on Lonely to stop him going around saying Hunt, Callan isn't dead um, mm-hmm. and they decide or rather Hunter's superiors decide that uh, so Jeffrey Chatterjack I think his name was the actor um, or Ch- Jeffrey Chatter I don't know. Um, that actually they want Callan back, which ties in a little bit to what we were saying last week with Callan being such a big name now. The KGB are obviously after him, and bang, this is what happens. But he's so big, the British government actually want him back to the point that they're actually prepared to arrest um, a spy called Richmond, a KGB agent, uh, played by T.P. McKenna for Greatest Show in the Galaxy fans. Um, I wouldn't say he's technically Callan's opposite. Um, he, because he Hunter values this Richmond more than Callan. Yeah, Hunter he's thinks a, that he's that a re- he's richer a prize more. than than, than uh-huh. Callan, and that comes he, back right at the end as well. Oh, yeah. um, he would rather keep Richmond and let Callan yeah. suffer. Yeah. Because he thinks they have more to gain from Richmond than they would lose from Callan, right? Yeah. And in the end, they sort out um, a swap in a hotel. And Richmond Mm -hmm. goes face-to-face with Callan. And even though they're not supposed to, they chat. Quite amiably, actually. It's nice Mm -hmm. to see how much we're worth, you know? There's foreshadowing here when that happens. Very much so. Because... If Callan isn't worth what Richmond is, unit or whoever the section, they're going to have to make it look like he is at the very least, right? Can someone say promotion? Oops, I'm sorry. We'll just keep go, go on. What were you saying? That's the whole no spoilers thing. Um, no spoilers. But uh, yes, we're left basically. We don't know what's going to happen to Callan. He's back. I just that Callan's life is going to get much more difficult. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that's with foresight. Not yeah, and this does it. harken back to Death of a Hunter, big time. And that that could honestly be another reason why the superiors of Hunter want Callan back quickly, because last time, Callan ended up in enemy hands, they turned him into a gun, pointed him and fired him, and they lost a Hunter, okay? Who the fuck could they lose now? That's got to be... On somebody's mind in the chain of command, who's next? If he's in this some bitch after us, who could get killed next? How but many that's might just he kill? The thing. Why, therefore, would mm-hmm. you want him back? He's a danger. Well, you get him back before they turn him into the danger. But how that's do you know? Why. How you do don't. you know you've been successful? But again, you don't. Again, but you it's you a... do your best, right? Mm-hmm. And that's the thing, right? But with the prisoner exchange, that's why they. Hunter was so adamant about don't mark him up, leave him in good shape, mm-hmm. and so forth, right? Don't drug him to insensibility, don't wreck his mind, and so on. Even though the Russians were like, who gives a shit? Nuke him to Callan, right? They didn't really care, but, you know, Callan was lucky he managed to hang on, but, but Hunter did his way of thinking really had to, he, you know, he had to have 
deliverable goods to deliver because otherwise, if his items had been unserviceable, they would not have been accepted, right? This is, as I said, it's the first episode of Series 4. Mm-hmm. This is setting stuff up uh, for further oh down my. the line. Oh my. And this as a result, it's, it's not... Writing. I mean, it's an interesting oh look at how Callan reacts under uh, interrogation. Mm-hmm. And remember, it's not technically oh, yeah. physical interrogation. It's They're using drugs mm-hmm. on It's it. drugs. Um, but still, yeah. <laughs> it's interesting to notice that Dr. Smell comes in and... He, the the the, the uh, section's mad drug doctor, um, and he's just so cold. Mm-hmm. You know, well, both of the guys. So they're neither of them are like well. these Clifford people Rose. cackling mad scientists, right? They're just these guys doing their jobs, mm. and they see the world one way versus you know, like they're a necessary evil or something, and mm. you know, they're just doing their job, right? They're not hand wringing and you know drooling and shit and hippocratic and oath. talking about brain rape they're really you know hippocratic honestly oath. dedicated public servants to be honest first that's, do that's no harm the, the thing about this right these guys are all fundamentally just public servants no they're fucking psychopaths some of them are yes but they're still you know on the government dime you know <laughs> and answerable to so many things because of that it's too funny I thought it was hilarious that you got to see the two doctors as like they're kind of the same and they're you know it was hilarious. Julian that Glover, you could oh, see them Scaroff himself. These guys. Hey, which is which is nice I to see. Or for later people, Meister, um, mm. the the naughty old man Meister mm. in not in in Knots Landing, mm. King's Landing. Sorry, I got confused there. Yep. So um. Fun, I wouldn't say it's a fun episode, but a solid opener. It's setting stuff up. Would you agree? I thought it was a very good episode for setting stuff up. And it shows just the quality of writing they had in this show. These guys, they're, they're incredibly talented, and they are really doing a good job with pacing, uh, with with characterization, which is, you know, character details revealed through dialogue as opposed to direct revelation through, you know, either mm-hmm. reading about it or some other action. Um they do so much, and and it's very subtle. They're not beating you over the head with how they bring all this out. Um, my respect for the writers grows every time. Next week, it's Call Me Sir. Mm-hmm. That isn't an instruction, by the way, folks. Oh, what right. is the name of the, the big finish we're putting on next time? I'm sorry. Uh, Tell the return me of Joe Jones. Ah, or oh, the Lady Jojo Jones. Going back to the Time Monster. Ah, thank you, Lady Jojo Grant. Yes, I've discussed World of Warcraft. Haven't I? Yes, okay, I, I think okay. I put it all in uh, general. Take a look and make sure I've got it right, please. Well, I can't at the moment because we're in the middle of the uh-huh. show. I um, can. Yeah, he can. Yeah, but we trust yeah, you fine. to get it right. I don't know. Um, yeah. So, ooh, I get to watch Callan and Warship when I go from here. I was going to try and work out what I'm going to have for tea. Could be problematic. Dinner. Not tea the drink, but tea the meal with meat mm, in it this time, right? Yeah, I think it's going to have to gotcha. be... For me, it was up, pizza. Um, rolls. Small rolls. Swedish meatballs. And strawberry jam. Oh. I've had to use a food bank this week, so I'm, I'm having to pick oh. and choose what I can... what I can eat. Um, gotcha. I've got this um, tomato sauce, pasta sauce. It's not very nice, but beggars can't be choosers. Um, Take it, mix it with some ground beef, and then put it on pasta. I've got the money for that. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. It really I is. bet if the migrants were coming in to pick all the food, you wouldn't have to because the food exactly. prices would be down. Segwaying like right? back to our first section. You are preaching to the choir. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. It's all Putin's fault that the world economy's in this shitter, so. If we just fuck off out of Ukraine and let things go back to normal, we could stop having all this stupidity. But he wants to fuck around, so. No, the stupidity is going we are. to stay because. Of oh, Brexit. yes. Oh, yeah. It's just going to escalate. And Brexit. Well, not well, just, yeah, Brexit. The right wings of thing Britain, on Britain part, and yeah. the U.S. It's, you know. Yeah. These, these people are mad. Mm hmm. Well, you know, it's it's just going to get worse, but unfortunately... Mad or evil? Uh, they're, well, very evil, as a matter of fact, too. But 
Unfortunately, the Russians are making gains in Ukraine now, just a little bit, but still. And that's, you know, anything like that is a signal to Putin that, oh, finally, it's going my way. Because you got to remember, everybody thinks he's some, like, evil mastermind genius that's the spider at the center of a web, and he's not. He's a thug. He's a fucking bully. Yeah. He was a strong arm man for the KGB back in the day. He's not a mastermind. He's a truncheon. Okay? That's what. He's a billy club. He's nothing fancy. And so he's going to hit until he gets what he wants. And that's it. It's going to be interesting animal. when World War Three starts. World War III oh, yeah. Start and, with... It's just a matter of time at this point. Well, rate. no. It's, it started, but it's not official. Mm -hmm. It's a mm -hmm. lot of proxy stuff. Where, 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 this where is our you? Archduke of France Ferdinand moment for World War yeah. Three, right? Yeah. The invasion of Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. God, you guys How did it start the last 100 years from now? Fucking, oh, when Putin fucking invaded Ukraine, talking about Nazis and stupid shit and junkies yeah. or whatever. And, 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 and now he's history. supposed to be messing with uh, Moldovia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. History will be written by the winning side on, well, I say I written, know. it'll be scratched onto a bit of rock by on, one of the last whatever, people yeah. alive who knows how mm -hmm. to read and write. Yeah. yeah Hopefully it's... there won't be a nuclear exchange, but if there is, let's hope it's limited. You know, I'm not sure their nukes are... Like tactical capable. nukes aren't going to. The only use oh. tactical nukes will have. All they need, though, all would they be need is one for the shock and awe value, because no, ta tactically they won't. They, they, they won't do much. He's, all he's they have Putin's to do is put a nuke on one of those puppies, and he's overconfident in his, in his hypersonic missiles. And he thinks if he could get you know a dozen of those bitches launched, that he could get them here, and we can do anything about it. I don't think he understands. More than the silos that NORAD has, there's subs, there's bombers, there's shit all across the planet. So no matter what, there's going to be a retaliation that would utterly destroy Russia. The problem is, Putin is one of those guys who thinks, fuck it, if I can't have it, no one can, or I'm going to take it with me, or some kind of foolishness along those lines. So he is totally okay with burning Russia to the ground if he can't have Ukraine, if it means he's going to get a bullet in the back of the head or something. You know, to get him out of power because he screwed up so bad. That kind of thing. He get, he'll start a nuclear war, sure, why not? What's the worst thing that can happen? He's dead anyway. Mm. Just so we can be all BBC about this. Um, these are just Spanky's opinions. Um, yes. And they make sense to me, but there we go. Um, right. The minute Belarus moves in on the Ukraine... Oh. I think it's on. I don't think they on will. They bottom. haven't got a large enough force to make any difference. It doesn't well, matter. They've got, the, they've got a rebel force in there or something that's screwing with the Belarusians well, they, anyway, but... Yes. Yeah. yeah. But the if prob, the, the Belarusian got is government, the Wagner Lukashenko or whatever, does actually send over his main army, one, he'll probably lose control of his country. Yes. But that will be a signal, honestly, for the opening of the floodgates. Yeah. It's it's Shit, gonna be we'll on right, right at yeah. I, I so, can see you know, if that happens if if um not the other one. Ah what's his name? Uh, Evil uh. dictator bastard from um which one? From yeah, exactly from Belarus. Um uh, Lushenko. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh -huh. I can see if he did what you said and he did get overthrown, that would be uh -huh. the excuse the Russians need to go into Belarus. To invade properly. there. Yeah. Right. Again, yeah. but right. the thing is, could they manage it? They're stretched. And as then it is. everybody's attention is going to be on Europe, and then China's going to make a play at Taiwan. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. They've seen what's happened to Russia's economy. Now it's not as bad mm -hmm. as we thought it would be, but they mm -hmm. have seen what's happened, and that might just hold them back. They may prefer the status quo to anything else all they have to do is start emptying some billionaires bank accounts and just handing it over to the ukrainians just say here yeah they invaded your country we sanctioned them we're taking their money it's all yours enjoy trouble is they've got to be very very careful because well again nukes oh putin yeah. was smart though the last 20 years he's been insulating the russian economy against these kinds of sanctions he didn't get near as far as he wanted 
but he got a lot farther than we wished he had, apparently. Mm-hmm. You know, farther than we thought he could have, honestly. And so they're not doing as bad as they should be or as we would like, as the world would like, but still sucks to be them. And we've crippled their ability to create more tanks, jets, and so forth. So, you know, what they use up now, they can't replace. I find it interesting that the Democrats are, yes, we're going to prop up Ukraine. Yes, we're going to stop them. And the the idiots with the rifles for the Republicans are like, oh. No, uh uh-uh. No, 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 I'm not going to fight Russia. Losers. Oh, my God. How stupid are they, right? Like, what is wrong with you morons? All this trash talk. But now, I don't know. It's like now the Republican thing is suck Putin off because for some reason, they're all up there. They're all, you know, on their knees in front of Putin. Just uh, uh, like, what the hell, guys? Come on. Mm -hmm. Knock it off, y'all. The party against communism is now. (laughs) Anyway. It's the party of Putin now, right? Well, Putin's not communistic. Uh, I mean, he's essentially fascist. No, no, he's, he's a and fascist. Yeah. And and that's what Trump is. That's what many of the Republicans that's wish the they could have the here UK now. The Conservative Party now is. Well, it used it, to be. The, but the Republicans here are actively talking about getting rid of the Constitution. And I guess it's because they don't understand that the nation isn't the dirt we're standing on or the flag or the military or any of that. It's not the people. It's the Constitution. That's what created the nation. That's what makes the nation. That's why the nation endures, not the dirt, the buildings, the military, the flag, or any of that crap. The government, definitely not. It's that document. I don't understand how they are not able to grok that, but they don't. They don't understand what their rights are. Marjorie Taylor Greene going into a, the, her, her intelligence briefing, and just opening up by screaming at the guy on, before on. he even gets to really talk that he's a liar because she thinks her job is to take him to task rather than just receive information hang on, hang is on. a perfect example. Marjorie Taylor Green, Green goes to an intelligence briefing. Can you yes, see the irony yes. from a couple we've got, here. got her on that committee, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because they put her on a committee because they didn't realize, hey, this bitch is nuts. The stupidest woman she, in she Congress gets put on, on the – yes, she has McCarthy yeah. over a barrel, right. So he puts her on the intelligence committee, so she's getting intel briefs and thinks her job is to go in, scream at the guy and curse at him and tell him he's a liar or something because he's not feeding her QAnon briefings, right? He's just giving her intelligence assessments. This is the information we have now about these things. That's all an intel briefing is, right? Hang on. But how do we know that's what she's doing? Spanky? How do we know that's what she's doing? Because she admitted that. Oh, she admitted because it first come and out. foremost. And all the senators that were there were like, lady, you've got to shut up and let the man talk. And they've come out and said that. It's public knowledge. Okay. She went in and showed it her It has ex, been widely reported that even Republicans have told her to shut the fuck and up. She bragged and I believe about they're it. telling Tucker Carlson to do the same. She bragged mm-hmm. about it is even worse because she just doesn't get the message that she screwed up so bad. She thinks she's on time. And like, so she's still bragging about it. She good doesn't luck, get good it. Good going, Georgia. You elected a candidate. Oh, you, Georgia, you elected this fool. Way to go. You've hamstrung our nation. Good job. Anyway. Oh, my God. Moving uh, on from politics. The blade was always meant to be political. Always. I'm right just, from the start. She was mad. They said they didn't tell her about the Jewish space lasers. That was the problem. Would you tell her? I'd tell her about two seconds after I shot That's her. That's power her. in such yeah, hands as hers. That Russian that Chinese spy balloon with. It was actually a Jewish space laser. It wasn't one of our jets. But it don't was tell a anybody. target for the Jewish you know. space laser. Why? Right. Why? They, they Why were do testing people track, pick on? I mean, I obviously police. don't yeah. know the full history, but why do people keep picking on Jews? Why? Why do they pick on people who are ginger? Why? It makes no sense to me. It, well, all gingers, that sort of thing gingers, never happens. Well, to be fair, gingers, gingers no are soulless. Gingers have no soul, right? Disease. That's yeah, what gingers. It, but Jews, I'm not so sure. Absorbed. Some something back to the However, day. However, Karen know. Gillen is a ginger, and yes, I'm open for business. Soulless or not, right? Soul. Yeah, we're we're down. It's okay. I'll we'll share mine with you. That's cool. I, I'm just saying. You're a prevert. Soul, I am willing to supply. 
That's a film I want to see again, actually, Doctor Strange. There are a few. Gates McFadden, come on. Uh, who was that on from that that taxi We TV are not show, that doing one? this. It Mary was Lou just Hunter. International Mary Day of Hunter. the there Woman. Go, We're yes. not doing the this. What? There's all these really Christina talented Hendrick. people. Yeah, yeah, there. you're going to perv on them. Recently, the when she announced her engagement, oh. you you're, you're, you're going to perv on them. I don't, I don't want perving. Who's perving? I'm not perving on them. Who's perving? Whoa. Who perved? Where's no one's sitting perving? discussing or revolting? Oh, my God. No. Preverts. What did I say? Preverts. I'm willing to supply. I'm just saying. Beautiful women just saying. I don't know. I'm terribly sorry, boys and girls. And, um, mm. it's, it's, I, I haven't done that Spanky's for a while, not. have you? What? Mm? Your little opening spiel thing. No. Would no, you like I to haven't. do it? Uh. Not really at the closing. Yeah, really. Huh? At the closing Weird. of the no. day. Oh. Um, all uh, right, well, we're going to fuck off. Do we have anything left? Did we miss anything? No. I feel like we forgot something. No, 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 no. A little bit. It's because a little bit isn't no. here. Yeah. More yeah. off balance. Yeah, it's yeah. a little shorter because a little bit's not here. And indeed, we're yeah. one hour 40. Yeah. 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 Even though we wasted a half an hour We've at the start. We've proven it, up for it now. This yeah. is science. Yeah, yeah. It's science, yeah. 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 Um, by the way, guys, this will be the time. I, I, I don't know when our clocks go back. No, for yeah, I don't know. Whatever it's saying. So but this for will now, be next week. Anyway. For of four you, it'll be yeah, next, next week. Next the next weekend. people to change will be us, so it won't change for you. Um, okay. Five o'clock next weekend. Then when you finally, you know, get your Catch shit together up. and yeah, change. Yeah, yeah. Come on, right. All right, then we're gonna go away because we can, mm -hmm. um, and because we probably should. Let's and be there, 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 there. I don't know why I keep saying we may be contact. Contractually obligated. So I thought to... you were going to say contagious. <laughs> At least morally obligated, anyway. Yeah. But then, say goodbye. Oh, we lost those a long time ago. Yes, we did. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. To our loves. You've got to fight for what you want, for all that you believe. It's right to fight for what we want, to live the way we please. As long as we have done our best, then no one can do more. And life and love and happiness are well worth fighting for. They're well worth fighting for. John Levine, naked. Sleep well. <laughs>